Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the very cute but emotional roller coasty Venba. This was developed and published by Visai Games and is available for a price of which I'm not sure yet but it is included in Game Pass, uh, Xbox Game Pass anyway so let the green into your life. The Xbox green, I mean. Mm. So we play as Venba, who, with her family, take a gamble to move from India to Canada to start a new life with his son, eh? Yeah. He can make all kinds of buddy guys, but he won't be their guy friend, etc. You know the South Park Canadian bit. Yeah, we all do. Uh, <laughs> but there's cutscenes galore and a lot of cooking to do. So it's primarily a narrative adventure game where the cooking is sort of puzzly. Yeah. Now as for achievements, the list is genuinely easy as well. There's a few story related ones as always. Um, there's two missable achievements in terms of you have to read every text message. I'll let you know when we get to there. But the most important ones to keep an eye out for are for reading every flavor text on each level and never messing up a recipe once. If you do, quit. you can quickly dashboard and go again. I'll let you know, like I said, when we're coming up to any miscellaneous or missables, but chapter select is always there, so that is nice. And all in all, you'll be looking at around one hour to complete this. So, with that being said then, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, everything's unskippable. You can't unskip, you can't skip any cutscenes in this game. Um, which is, which is fine. Because like I said, this, you think that all it's going to be is just ah, a bit of cooking, a bit of a, you know, chill, a bit of a slap and tickle and everything. But uh, no, man, this, this, this starts to hit deep. Especially if you've been through a certain situation with an older child that you've got or something like that. Anyway, uh, dialogue, of course, we are just going to be slamming through with the A button. But, of course, be, you know, feel very free to um, uh, read it because it is a very interesting story. And it's one that you probably won't expect. So uh, do what you do. But, of course, just for the purpose of the uh, video, I'm just going to be slamming through El Dialogo. So here we are then, this is going to be the first cooking uh, section, the six, I believe, in the game. Now, what I will do is, I won't just be slamming through all the recipes, I'll be going sort of as slow slash fast, you know, as I can, just so hopefully that you can keep up and you don't have to keep pausing the video every two seconds, because that's always a pain in the bum, we all know. Now every time we start, we are going to open up the red book, uh, right there, the sort of uh, recipe book or whatever it is, and then we're going to press the Y button, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, and then always choose the um, middle option. So these are basically the flavor texts, and again, you need to read every flavor text on every level. So every level that we begin, make sure to press the Y button, and even if there is two dialogue options, you need to choose the both of them. So obviously about Idlis here, we've already said how's it made, so we're just going on to the bottom option there. So again, you have to make sure to do those. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use chapter select anyway if you miss anything. So, first of all, grab the towel on the left and put it on the idli plate. And then grab the batter and then pop that on the plate. And then grab the plate, put it in the middle of the pressure cooker. Here we go. Grab the towel again, grab it over to the plate on the right. Grab the batter. And then put that back on the plate. Now, before putting it in, what we're going to do, the little spinny thing in the middle here, we're going to make it so the three holes on the outside are sort of in line with the big liney, twisty thing. See? Exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then we can grab the plate and then put it down. And then we're going to do it again. So we will grab the towel, pull it over to the plate on the uh, right, then grab the batter, put it over the plate again. Make sure that the spinny thing has the three holes going in the pressure cooker once again. So obviously you'll need to, sorry, you will need to press the A button. It's normally a press A and hold. Grab the plate, put that one in. Then we're going to grab the water, pop the water in, 
Lovely and jubbly. Then we're going to grab the lid. Stick that on your bonds, Hans. And then we're just going to turn it on. And ta-da! You made Idlis. Yeah. By the way, this game will make you hungry. Without a doubt. There we go. Taking the lid off. That's done. It's going to be another long cutscene. But, uh, yeah, that'll be the first two achievements we should be getting here. Like it was yesterday for completing one recipe without messing up. And put chutney for successfully making idlis. Now, I'm telling you right now. I'd had my dindins before I uh, before I played this. But when we get into the real big uh, delicious stuff later. Jesus Christ. It is going to make you want to order some of the most delicious crap you'll ever eat. It's not crap then, is it? Yeah, anyway, enjoy the cutscene with the glorious moustached man. Oh, they're all smiley. I wonder where he's going to be sticking his mustache, man. Old Indian Mario. Get in it, son. Make another child.
Now, normally, I would be with uh, old Kevin, right, or young Kevin right here and get some pizza, but trust me, trust me. Indians make genuinely some of the best food. The best food. Holy crap, it is the best food. I love it. Uh, right, so we're coming up to the second bit now. So again, we're going to interact with the red book. And then once we press the A or B button to back out, again, remember to press the Y button. We're going to need to be reading the flavor text. <coughs> oh, excuse me, it don't happen then. The flavor text. Uh, now this time it's only the one option, which is fine. So once you've done that, we can continue. So grab the soaked rice from the top and put it in the blender on the left. Turn the blender on. So it goes... <laughs> But, you know, less stupid than that. Get the blended rice and put it in the top right dish. Or the sieve. Yeah, it's not a dish, it's a sieve. Then grab the sieve and then just do a little bit of shaking dusting. Bit of shaking dusting all the way until there's just a couple of big clumpy bits left, like so. Once the big clumpy bits are there, then you can just put that lot back into the blender. So again, just uh, hover it over the blender and let go. Press the blender on again, or blender blender. And then with the next portion of blended rice, put it over to the sieve, do the same thing. So a little bit of a shaken vac, a little bit of a white powder up your nose, uh, <clears throat> uh, on your uh, pillow, uh, ignore me. Put the rest into the blender. <laughs> oh, jeez. And then with the final bit, do the same thing. Put it into the sieve, grab the sieve, a little bit of uh, dusty sprinkle sprinkles. Every celebrity, by the way, is looking at that and going, oh, man, it reminds me of uh, lockdown. Because, of course, celebrities didn't have anything to do apart from snort cocaine. Uh, right, so just grab the towel and put it in the dish on the right-hand side. I think it's perfect, too. And on to part two of this bit. Now we need to make a rocket, apparently. So, first things first. Once again, we are going to interact with the red book. So get that done. Again, it, it, it pretty much just makes no difference because I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. Then remember to press the Y button again. So this is the tricky part where you may actually miss it. You may think it's just done because it's all in one level. But no, it's every single part that you do. You need to read the flavor text. So once you've done that, what we'll do is grab the water. We're going to put that in these sort of little kettle on the right. And then we're going to grab the coconut uh, flour and put one down. Then we're going to grab two of the putu flowers. So that's one and two. Then we're going to grab another coconut from the left there. And then we're going to grab another two putu. I hope I'm saying some of these right, by the way. If I'm not, then feel free to laugh at my disgustingly terrible accent. Then just grab one more coconut. Coconut. And then we can pop the lid on. And then we can put that on top of the kettle. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky. Just, uh, you know, try, try again. Then we can put that on the pressure cookery bit. Turn it on. And ta-da!
So we're going to get an achievement here for completing the park level, except we don't have to do anything. So you're literally just slapping, slapping and tickling through the dialogue as normal, and we'll get the hair off the head achievement, which... Oh, that's sad. I know what all... I know what hair off the head means. I wanted to grow it. Such a bald man. Dr. Robotnik. Bruh, got messed up! So, that's what happens when you go to work for a sales company. You'll get in fights because it is, because it is one of the c c crappiest jobs out there. And if you're working in sales, please enlighten me why it's any fun. I assume it's terrible. But look, look, he's had his glasses smashed just because he's got a better moustache than everyone. And just sales sucks, man. Right, so genuinely, I thought he was writing the note of suicidiness, but uh, evidently not, thankfully. Uh, but I tell you, this game's getting a bit emotional. It's going to start getting more emotionally rollercoastery. But we've got a lot of ingredients to start chucking in. Remember that we cannot um, make a mistake, so obviously just follow me, and we should be golden as nuggets. Right, um, now what you can do, you can see, we're going to do the flavor text first. So again, press Y, hit the middle dialogue option. But you can see, because the red book didn't have any reading stuff in it, what you can do is just go ahead and interact with the dialogue bubbles. It'll just basically tell you what to put in and what, what to do. But we're not going to bother, because I'm going to tell you what to do. So first of all, put the cardamoms in. The cardamoms at the top. There we go. And then we're going to put the bay leaves in, the bay leaves on the right. So pop those ones in as well. Next up, we're going to grab the cloves from the bottom right. Oh man, I can already smell it. A fennel seeds will be next. Mm. Goddamn hungry. 
Next up then, what we'll do is grab the onions from the top, the old bunions, the old onion bunions. Nextly, we will grab the chilies. Ugh, mouth is watering. Then the ginger garlic paste. Sorry, so the ginger garlic paste. Everyone loves a bit of ginger. Then the tomatoes, because gingers are feisty. Whoa. Uh, sorry, so yeah, then the tomatoes. Kevin will appreciate it, honey. Don't you worry. Next up, we will grab the chili powder. The top right corner there, the chili powder. Then we will grab the turmeric. And lastly, we will grab the biryani masala, which is just, it's just, yeah. And then we are going to pick up the salt. The salt will be next. And then, of course, the old marinated beef in your teeth. You can't beat a bit of beef in your teeth. It depends on the context. Uh, grab the water, <laughs> uh, grab the water, and uh, yeah, let it simmer, and can can you smell that, can you smell that lovely biryani just curry, ah, blah, blah. right, so we're not quite done yet, so we've still got a bit left to do, again we're going to need to read the book and do the flavour text of course, so once we just get through this little bit of text and dialogue right here, um, there is none this... Oh, in fact, no, we have to interact with the dialogue bubble, sorry, at the top of the pan right there. So interact with the dialogue bubble, and then that's how you can get it going, and the flavour text starting. There we go. So again, press the white button. Types of biryanis. Biryanis are fun to make, even better to eat. Right, so first thing we're going to pop in then... Pu pu not pop in, pop in... We need a bowl of this marinated beef in your teeth. Uh, grab the rice, and then we're going to put that in the big giant pot. Then we're going to grab the smaller bowl of beef. Pop that on top, and then grab the rice, and then pop that one on top as well. And next up, we will grab the cashews from the top. Then we are going to grab the ghee. Never tasted ghee, I don't think, but it uh, looks good. Cilantro will be next. And then we'll do the fried onions, because we fried them earlier. And then the saffron milk will do. So check about that saffy saff saff. And then the mint from the very left-hand side of the screen. Pop the mint on. And that is looking blamissimo, man. Grab the lid, put it on. I feel like Big Zoo's Big Eats right here. Right, we can take the lid off. Looks amazing, yeah, I, I, I would like to make one of these recipes, but being me, who is quite mildly uh, a bit screwed up in the head, I can guarantee I'd make it completely wrong and it would end up being just like, just like diarrhea at a pot, which is not good. Now this is where Cav starts to get a bit wiener-ish, and I don't know if there's anyone out there who's had problems with kids this age, you know, like, I don't need my parents anymore. Quite heartbreaking for a for a parent, right?
So this is where the sort of extra depression comes into it now. So it appears that um, old Pav has passed on to the other realm. He is no longer with us. Um, I don't know how. It doesn't actually explain, but just assume that him and his brother Luigi went out for a little run and uh, it didn't end well. Now, of course, you can always tell when somebody's getting older by the Edward Scissorhands fingers that they've got right there. Jesus, man, that is some incredible... I know I know, her husband has passed on, but she must make herself happy with fingers like those. Jesus. Right, we are going to start making... Now, this one is um, pretty much the easiest level. Sorry, you, you filthy lot. Uh, but basically, this is just a whole bunch of mini-games, so... You can't really go wrong with this because it's just a case of flipping stuff, putting stuff in stuff. Um, and it's just like one recipe at a time rather than a whole bunch of recipes. So, for instance, this first one, you just got to keep rotating clockwise to make a... I don't know what it is, but it just looks like a Dreamcast symbol. So you need to make three of these Sega Dreamcast sim symbols. By the way, Sega, bring back the goddamn Dreamcast! That's my favorite console. Love the Dreamcast. So make three of these Dreamcast symbols anyway. And, and like I said, you can't really go wrong at all with this one. So for instance, we've uh, started to deep fry those. Just wait until one of them is highlighted and then just press the A button on them once to put them on the plate. So with that done, next up, all we're going to be doing then, everything's on. All you got to do is put the butter in each of the, what we got, two, four, six, seven holes. It's a lot of holes to fill, but I'm sure you can do it. So just put butter in each one. And then once you've done that, we will do exactly the same with the next ingredient. So fill it all in, baby. And then once this is done, what we're going to do is just flip them all around. So once they get highlighted, flip them all around. And then with each one again, with each highlighted one, just make sure to press the A button on them again. And just pop them on the plate. Now one thing I don't understand about this game is... For all the, like, cold stuff and stuff you can't really burn yourself on, she has ladles and spoons and she pops them all lovely. But then when it's actually boiling and everything's burning, I can't see anything. It's just her hands. She's just picking it up with her hands. And she has asbestos hands. Right. Every time the knife highlights, just press the A button to slice. And we're going to do that for each side. The fish genuinely looks happy to be sliced up, doesn't he? Then we're just going to grab the uh, mixture there, flip the fish over by pressing the A button on it, and then grab it again. Then it's going to go into a frying pan, and it's going to go from looking happy to, why? Why did you do this to me? Why, mother? Once it's highlighted, flip it over. There we go. Sorry, I was a bit late with that one. Then press the A button again when it's highlighted, and he's just looking at you with his big black eye. Why you do this, mama? I loved you like a mama. It looked more like he'd just been slashed by Wolverine there. Deadpool 3, that's what's going to happen. 
Right, so uh, again, all for this bit, all you're gonna do is just, it's just gonna come up with one sort of uh, ingredient each. So all you're gonna do is just pop whatever comes up into the saucepanny frying panny bit. Okay, so almost done now. All we're gonna do is just wait for the steamer to go Like so and then when it highlights we can pick it up like now there we go take the lid off and Look at that piece of bangingness deliciousness pop that uh, last bit of recipe in and Then we just need to interact with each highlighted bit just press the A button on it once The next bit then uh, is the genuinely some of the best. I know it's just a video game and animation, but it's genuinely some of the best looking chicken I have ever seen. So every time it gets highlighted, just flip it over. And that's the dinner spread done. Now I can't wait to go and eat so I can get back to my beautiful bland British food. Um, but this is where the first sort of missable achievement comes in. We have to basically read all the texts in Vember's phone here. Now, before pressing the A button, do not press the A button. Scroll all the way up. Again, you can read them if you want, but uh, it's just good morning, good night, and a lot of uh, ignoring. So scroll all the way up, scroll all the way down. And then once you've done that, uh, you can press the A button to continue. If you want to do it again, just to be on the safe side, that's fine. But you should be fine as long as you scrolled all the way up, all the way down. And I actually really, really hate Kevin at this bit for this. Look how hard Venba worked, man. Look how hard she worked. And it's just gone to absolute waste. There's no path anymore. There's no Indian Mario. Nobody can eat it. Nobody can eat the Dreamcast symbols. Generally, this is it, it, it is heartbreaking, especially if you've got kids. Even if you've got young kids, you think, God, I hope my kid never turns out so douchish. Which they probably will, because let's be honest, all kids are douches. Even your own. Let, let's face it. Ah, oh, sad. Shed a tear, everyone. No, genuinely, I did. I wasn't expecting such a bit of a gut punch of a game. I just thought, good stuff, cooking, happy times. Damn, a lot of gut punches in this one. Right, so what are we going to do for this section? And this is the, where the second sort of missable achievement is, where we have to read all the text in Kevin's phone. 
even though what I've just realized, the uh, achievement description says real all the text in Kevin's phone, which is funny. Um, but basically, we can just keep pressing the A button for now. And then the it's basically at the point where he says he's going to do the recipe. Then we need to scroll up. Uh, so just keep pressing the A button for now. But just be careful. Don't go too nuts. I'll let you know when we're going to get to the achievement-y bit. So this is the achievement -y bit. So when he starts to delete it with his mega massive, uh, mega huge dong thumbs, must get that from his mother, definitely. So now we'll press the A button to send it, but don't press the A button after this. We're gonna scroll up, go all the way up, and then we're gonna go all the way down. Chris Kendall, by the way, just looks like the ultimate top douchebaggery of a man with a two inch Two inch nipples and a one inch wiener. Uh, but once you have gone up and down, then we can press the A button. That will get the doom scroll for reeling all the texts in Kevin's phone. And there we go. I think it, yeah, we'll <laughs> reel all the texts. Funny. Um, but uh, yeah, so frustrating as Kevin is, well, <laughs> we've all been through it, so. So, it takes Kevin quite a few years to realize that, oh wait, my mama loves me. So, we're going to be doing quite a few cooking sections with this dude now. So, again, red book of course. And then the Y button again to go into the recipe book and sort out your flavor texts. This book was important. Okay, right. So, it's going to start off simple. First of all, we're going to grab the tamarind. We're going to put that in the top bowl. And then we're going to put the warm water into the top bowl. There we go. Then we are just going to hold the A button here to mix it. And that will... Whoa, it changed colour. It's mad. Mad, right? Then we're going to grab the sieve. We're going to put that on the bottom bowl. And then we'll grab the top bowl. Pop that onto the bottom one. And then we get a, a few chunks left. So pop that sieve back into the top bowl. Grab the warm water again. Pop that one in, and then again, hold the A button here to mix it. And then put the sieve back on the bottom bowl. Grab the top bowl, and put it on the bottom bowl. And I'm really going to annoy myself by saying the word bowl so much. Grab the sieve, put it back in the top. Grab the warm water again, and put that in the top bowl again. Put the sieve back on the bottom one, after mixing it, of course. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, well, it's called a saiev, isn't it? Saiev, rather than a sieve. It's the English. It's the English spelling and language. It's all. It all sucks. And once that is done, that the uh, yep, the tamarind water is ready. So, on to next one now. A few more ingredients we're gonna splash the gash with. <clears throat> splash the cash with. Sorry. Right. Yeah, that's all good. And I don't think there is. Any flavor text with this one? Uh, in fact, no, no, there's not. Oh, in fact, I lied. Yes, there is. So there is. So make sure to do the flavor text. Sorry, I'm thinking about the next one. Uh, so there is a flavor text this time. So make sure to read that one. And it's about the soups. 
Sorry, I almost steered you wrong there. Please don't hate me. I love you. Right, so first thing we're going to put in is the mustard seeds on the left-hand side there. So pop in the old seedy mustards. Next up, we'll grab the cumin, or as I like to call it, cumin, because it's just funnier that way. Um, oh, man, you got it the wrong way. But no, that's fine. This is how it's supposed to be. Cal Cavern, of course, is just a bit wienerish at cooking. Next up, we'll grab the chilies from the top left. Pop them in. Then it'll be the curry leaves. You can already smell them, can't you? Mm. And on to the next step, which is add minced question mark. I love me some minced question mark. Uh, so grab the shallots from the right. Shallots. Then we're going to grab the garlic and ginger. And put that in as well. Next up, we're going to be putting the first add question mark that creates water. Okay. And that'll be the tomatoes. So stick in those Tommy Toes. Lovely. Then we are, after the little bit of dialogue, and we're going to put in the tamarind water. Tamarind water. And that's making it watery, of course. And next up is uh, add question mark and question mark to taste, which will be rasam powder. And salt, of course. Salt always onto a winner. Dries you out like a king. Slash queen. Oh, look at that bubbly ting, man. Right, on to the next part then. A little bit easier this time around. Uh, not as many ingredients to mess around with. So first we'll put in the bone-in chicken. <laughs> uh, you better not be bone-in chicken. Uh, but pop in the chicken anyway. Then put the water in. I'm sorry, it's you filthy lot. Your minds, I swear. Next, the turmeric. And then the salteric. And then the lideric. Yeah, there we go. Pop the lid on. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why that took me so long. Um, we will need to put on the counterweight, or the sort of steamy boy. Then we can turn on the pressure cooker, and just wait a few minutes until it's steamboat willies. I can see a little burger. Pick it. Eww. <coughs> so now take off the cooker weight or the lid weight or whatever you call it. The, yeah, the cooker weight. I was right the first time. Then take off the lid and that does look pretty fantastic. Chicken stock always a winner. Right, next up then, last step. Beautiful. Again, don't think there is any um, more flavor text for this part. Um, it was only the, the sort of first part that we needed to do it. So grab the big pot, put that into the other pot on the left. And then just grab the coriander from the top. Coriander always makes a kick-ass curry even more kick assier And yeah, that's pretty, uh, you're going to get the taken stock achievement here as well. So uh, barbarium.
No, screw this guy. Screw two-inch nipple guy. Phone your mama. Phone your mama. So this is the last of the, um, this is the last of the cooking sections now. And it's again, pretty, pretty easy. It's not too bad at all. Um, we will of course need to be reading the flavored text again. So we're just gonna smash all this out for the time being, all the dialogue. There we go, why button it up? About dosas. Oh, that would, that would sound like something Tyson Fury would say. About dossers. Yeah, terrible accent though. Uh, so once this is done, that should be the last one. And then we can just crack on as normal. Right, so first of all, we're going to pop the water on. And then we're going to turn it down with the dial there on the right-hand side. Bottom right-hand corner. Then we'll put the batter on. Now you'll have to do another clockwise sort of thing right here. So once it tells you to do it. Um, again, sometimes it can be a bit finicky. But if you just keep going round and round... Without stopping, you should have no problems. The Dreamcast symbol appears once more. And it's Ted, it's trying to tell Sega something, these guys are. Next, we'll put the oil on. So the oil from the right, we'll pop that in as well. And then we will turn the dial back up so that it cooks beautifully. Grab the flipper, interact with it once, and then immediately just go ahead and flip it again. And that will flip that boy, and that is looking banging. Right, so, same thing right here then. Uh, we are going to put the water on. Turn it down. Put the batter on. Now again, of course, if you want to um, press the white button there to have done the flavor text, you can, but I I didn't do it. Um, I still got the achievement. I think it was, I think it was the same thing anyway, about dossers. Uh, again, rotate this boy. And now we're going to top it up. Top it up with some flavorables toppings. So here then we will be reading the flavor text. So press the Y button again. And then of course just choose the middle option, healthier modifications. Um, yeah, just put in some carrots and some onions and yeah, that's a, that's a meal fit for a rabbit. So first of all then we will get the ghee and pop the ghee in. There you go, lovely. Then the carrots in the bottom left corner. Then the onions in the top left corner. Now, what we're also going to do is not use the green chilies. We're not going to use the chilies. We're going to grab the powder, use that. This is a missable achievement, so we'll turn it back up, of course. Grab the flipper. Again, make sure that you do not use the chilies. Grab the flipper again. And with that one, you will get uh, the achievement for making the Uthapam without chilies obviously if you accidentally did you can either just dashboard and quit or you can just come back and do the chapter select um but there we go so that one is done so again we will do the um the flavor text there of course once again and again we will put the water on we will turn it down turn it down thank you then use the batter again, of course. And rotate that boy. Now, I actually forgot to use the flavor text thing this time, but I think it's pretty much just the same. As I said, I still got the achievement, so just to be on the safe side, if you want to do that, do that. Uh, do the flavor text first. Otherwise, we'll grab the ghee and then the beaten eggs. Oh man, poor eggs. 
They just came into the wrong neighborhood, man. So the ghee first, then the beaten eggs, then the curry. I hope it's not too heavy to carry. Yeah. And then the coriander. And then, of course, turn it back up so it cooks lovely. Then flip it. And then use the flipper to flip it again. And if you have done everything right, you will have gotten the Pavilion would be proud achievement for getting Silicon Heartbreak, Doom Scroll, and the Flavor Text achievements. Uh, the Flavor Text, of course, for reading the Flavor Text in every level, and the Queen of the Six Tastes for completing every recipe without messing up once. This is the effectively the end of the game, but we still will have one more achievement left. You'll also get the Fermented Feelings achievement for successfully finished cooking the dosas. The dosas. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I've actually, this is just the last cutscene of the game, so you just need to slam through the dialogue or whatever, uh, however you're playing. I have actually just, um, obviously, as you can see, we got one more achievement for basically doing chapter two wrong. So, I've cut out the cutscene and the end credits, um, just so the video's a little bit quicker here. Um, so obviously you'll just have to slam through that, but once we get here, get, go on to chapter select, go to chapter two. And again, you will have to go through the cutscene once again. Unfortunately, there's no way you can skip it, even though you've already played it. So I've skipped the cutscene. I've edited it down in the video just to show you here. So again, first of all, interact with the red book. And this bit, we're just doing the same as we did last time. So grab the soaked rice, put it in the blender, give the blender a little blender push. Once that's done, grab the blended rice, put it in the sieve. And then, of course, put the sieve on the towel to catch everything, and then just do this, keep doing that, repeating, until we get to the next part. So this is where the achievement's going to come into it then. So remember last time we were doing one coconut and two putu flowers? Well, basically all we're doing this time is just reversing it. So it'll be one putu and two coconuts. And that'll smash it up and get us the last achievement. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, of course, what we're going to do is put the water in the kettle to the right. And now let's just crack on. So first of all, we're going to use the putu flower. And then we're going to use two coconuts. So grab your two nuts and put them uh, inside. Ah, that sounded horrible. Uh, grab your putu and then pop that on the inside as well. <laughs> that also sounded horrible. And again, two more coconuts. And then one more putu. There we go, and then we'll pop the lid on, we'll pop it on the kettle, pop it on the side, uh, and then we'll turn it on, and that will get you the last achievement, and 15 out of 15 will be yours. So, there we go, guys. It's going to unlock in just a minute, but I just want to say um, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the game, and I really hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I hope that the pacing was good enough, because I know sometimes you can go too fast, sometimes you can go too slow. Hopefully, the pacing was good and you were able to keep up. Please let me know if it was fine. But yeah, so thank you again so, so much. A uh, big shout out to my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members, and everyone who interacts with me on the daily. I really do appreciate it, so thank you so much again. Uh, if you did like this video, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with the video. Share with the video. Share with a friend, I meant. And I will see you in the next Game Pass game then, guys and gals. Big old beautiful love. Give me that British, bland, beautiful British cuisine.